great big bundle of joy when he's coming down the chimney down. Since we don't have a chimney, how does Santa get in? Well, he creates one. How? Well, he comes in through the vents. Okay, Christmas stories are kind of strange when you stop to think about it. For example, Santa. He literally breaks into your house, man. And the lyrics, he sees you when you're sleeping and knows when you're awake. That totally doesn't sound foreboding at all. Also, the house we lived in before I moved didn't have a chimney. So, I was asking my parents, how does Santa get in? Well, young me, Santa Claus 1 kind of cleared that up for you. They made it really simple. Also, what was the message supposed to be for Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? The message of the movie basically said, you're only allowed to be different from the rest of society if it's useful. That's a great message for children. Now that we've discussed a lot of weird Christmas movies, I'm going to tell you my embarrassing Christmas stories. When my older sister and I were younger, my parents used to record us opening our presents. And one particular year, I was two, my sister was probably three or four, and I really wasn't interested in my presents. The funny part of the story is my parents had accidentally left an empty wrapping paper roll sitting on the ground somewhere in my reach, and you know your girl picked it up. Then I had the natural younger sibling response of trying to hit my sister with it. The wrapping paper roll was soon confiscated. It seems I had a thing for not being interested in my Christmas presents because a couple years later when I was four or five, my grandparents had gotten us tickets to go see a Disney on Ice show. And while this was a great gift for my sister and I, they seemed to overlook one small detail. I couldn't read yet, so the printed copy of the tickets was not something I understood until my sister just started screaming, They got us tickets to go see Disney on Ice! I still didn't even know what was going on. With the logic of a four or five year old brain, I thought the box or something was the gift, and so I just climbed right into it. And I was perfectly content with that. I was just as content with the box as my sister was with the Disney on Ice tickets. I think that describes our personalities pretty well. And again, this was caught on video, so we just have a recording of me chilling in a box. Hello, welcome to the end card. Guys, thank you so much for an amazing year. Also, real quick, I want to thank the person on screen for the amazing fan art. Like, I cannot even begin to explain to you how happy it made me, and it really made my day. Thank you. I hope everyone has a happy holiday season, and I wish everyone a happy new year.